The required equipment for a traditional surgical cricothyrotomy includes an 11-blade scalpel, a tracheal hook, a trousseau dilator, and a tracheostomy tube or cuffed 6.0 endotracheal tube. Stabilize the larynx with your non-dominant hand by grasping the sides of the thyroid cartilage with your thumb and middle finger. Use your index finger to palpate the depression over the cricothyroid membrane. Use the 11-blade scalpel to make a 2 to 3 centimeter vertical incision through the skin and subcutaneous tissue overlying the cricothyroid membrane. Use the index finger of your non-dominant hand to palpate the membrane through the incision. Once the membrane has been located, make a stabbing horizontal incision through the lower portion of the cricothyroid membrane. Temporarily place your index finger into the stoma to maintain a firm fix on its location. Next, place the tracheal hook into the opening in the membrane. Rotate the hook cephalad and pull it gently toward the ceiling to snare the inferior aspect of the thyroid cartilage. While holding the hook with your non-dominant hand, use your dominant hand to place the trousseau dilator into the trachea. Spread the blades open to dilate the opening in a vertical direction. You are now ready to insert the airway into the trachea. If an assistant is available, he or she should insert the airway while you maintain control of the tracheal hook and the dilator. Insert the airway into the trachea so that it is oriented in a plane parallel to the trousseau dilator. Then, rotate the dilator and the airway together 90 degrees while advancing the tube further into the trachea. Advance the airway catheter completely so that the flange of the device rests against the patient's neck. Once the tube has been fully inserted, you can remove the tracheal hook and the obturator from the airway catheter. Finally, inflate the cuff with air and begin to ventilate the patient with a bag valve mask.